Now we're moving on to the next pack of Disney style super combo finishers. This time around, the next group is the Ultra Tech pack. Which, by the way, doesn't even feature Cinder. So that's, that's fail number one right there. So now we're going to start things off with the other poster boy of Killer Instinct, Fulgor. So where the fuck do I begin, alright? So first of all, Fulgor reused animation there and then he jumps up into the air and he does his little uh, activation sequence uh, to activate the, the the devastation beam which everyone calls it the hype beam because of uh, Maximilian dude in other words a dude brodia of the mighty glorious nation of Fulgornia shoots the opponent with the devastation beam and the opponent is just like just standing there trying to block it, like how the fuck are you supposed to block a, a, a beam or a devastation beam there? Not to mention the fact that, that the devastation beam is also the exact same color as it is during gameplay. It's like, why couldn't they just switch the color to, to differentiate between, you know, this is the regular one and this is the, uh, the overpowered one, the, the, the buffed up one for the ultimate. And the opponent is just like standing trying to block the devastation beam there. Like why couldn't they just use more violence? It doesn't make any sense that the that the opponent is blocking a, a fucking laser. You know when the, when if they're being hit by a laser, they should have been like being blown away. But I will say this though, that this ultimate, even though it's it has recycled animations and the same colored beam coming out of Fulgor's chest, I will say that. It's, uh, it's kind of decent, so I'm going to have to give this one an 8 out of 10. So next we have Sadira. So Sadira... You know, she, she throws her webs at the opponent and the opponent is just like trapped in the web. Uh, Sadira shows up from out of nowhere and then she like caresses the opponent's face before slicing their throat and for whatever fucking reason there's no blood and to top it all off they censored the good part you know they censored the the actual strike you know it's like where where the fuck is the blood I mean there's no gore killer instinct doesn't have to it doesn't need gore you know they just have to be violent oh think of the children man we gotta think about these new age five-year-olds. They're the only ones playing Killer Instinct now. They're the only ones giving us money since everyone else left because of our uh, cringy shit. Yeah. Duh. That's from uh, Adam Eisgreen. You know, he's the one who said that he wants younger people to play Killer Instinct because everyone else left. And they moved on to, to other things, you know, other games. Because Killer Instinct sucks nowadays, you know, when it first came out, it had like a, an 8 out of 10, and nowadays, now it just has a 1 out of 10. <laughs> oh man, Iron Galaxy, and it, it's all their fault why th this happened to Killer Instinct. But overall, yeah, Sidiris Ultimate, or should I say a, a Super Combo Finisher. Easily one of the worst ones, so I'm going to give this one a 2 out of 10. So now, Kilgore. So when he does his ultimate, he shoots a missile from his chest. Sector. And then he moves behind the opponent, which, you know, they dodge him. And then they just stare at the missile, you know, like a, like a deer caught in headlights. Duh! And Kilgore just shows up and grabs them from behind. And they're doing fuck all to break free, you know, like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, if a motherfucker with no arms is grabbing you, 
You can't break free from it, like, he. It's not like he's locked on like a bear hug and telling them to the ear, well, where are you going? And then the missile is in midair. And then the missile's just in, in midair and that's it. That's the end of the ultimate. There's no additional violence or nothing, you know, and Kilgore's not even in pieces, you know, he's just like discombobulated there and then he just reforms. <laughs> Reused animations, zero out of ten. So next we got Riptor. So Reptor, uh, she uppercuts the opponent with her tail, follows them into the air, and then she tries to to bite their genitals, misses them, and then starts throwing a temper tantrum on the ground. And then she incinerates the opponent, and it just it just ends right there. You know, it's it's oh, it's too violent. <laughs> Man, that ultimate sucks major ass. Just like the marks of ultra-combo.com, it just straight up fucking sucks in my opinion, right? Reused animations and censorship, zero out of ten. And finally, we got the icing on the cake, Aria. Roll the footage. So for some reason, this bitch in her ultimate goes into instinct mode. She flies all around the opponent, then she flies towards the opponent and then the screen just cuts to blank. And then she shows up one last time like, heh, shit, man that ultimate is just total shite. Like fuck all happened in that one, <laughs> nothing, no result of what she did to the opponent, zero out of ten. <laughs> These ultimates fucking suck in this Ultratech pack, where they they failed to add Cinder, which is a an epic fail right there on its own. <laughs> Man, Iron Galaxy just fucking sucks cock, just like the Marks. And with all that being said, tune in next time for Super Combo Finisher Pack 3. Man, all those cringy ass ultimates, they're all going down. <laughs>